All right, the difference between get it and find it cues. So for me, get it refers to something that I have tossed and the dog knows where I've tossed it. They've been able to track it. So it's a marking cue, i.e., you know, if you're talking hunting dogs, my get it cue would be the cue when the dog sees the dummy or the bird fall and knows exactly where to get it. Find it, on the other hand, is my search for something cue. So we were talking retrievers, for example, that would be my blind cue. So the dog doesn't know where the bird or the dummy has fallen, and I say find it, and they follow the line that I've generally indicated, but they're hunting for something. So in terms of like general dog training, not hunting dog training, um, with agility or obedience or whatnot, let's talk about obedience. So my get it cue would be, for example, a directed retrieve cue for like say the glove op uh, you know where I've I've pointed the dog at a glove the dog knows the glove is there there's only one glove really to choose or one dumbbell to go get and I say get it whereas find it would be like my scent discrimination cue I send the dog in the general direction to the pile but the find it cue means when they get to that pile they have to find a specific thing in the dumbbell with my scent on it in obedience. In agility I use these cues for primarily reinforcing behaviors I want. Um, same as if like we're playing fetch or whatnot. So get it means that the dog should be looking for the ball that they've just seen me toss in re reward for what they've done or the piece of food that they've just seen me toss or run to the ball or the food that has been already positioned somewhere in the field and the dog knows it is there. Okay. Whereas find it for me in that context would be dog does something I really like or maybe I realize they need a little de-stress break. Um, find it means I want them to drop their head and start searching for something. That might be a ball that they don't know has been tossed and is hidden in the grass or it might be food that I've just scattered on the ground. Um, so that's the difference between the get it and the find it. So in real life we're going to do a little bit with Zora here with her toy. All right, so I've got a ball in a chucket here, and I have a, so here's my ball in my chucket, and then here's my second tennis ball. So when I throw the ball in the chucket, I'm gonna cue Zora to get it. And she's gonna go get the ball that's being thrown, because she knows exactly where it's going. And while she's running to get the thrown ball, I'm gonna toss the second ball off to the side, so she doesn't know it's there. So when she's returned to me with the get it ball, i.e. the marked ball, the one she knew I threw in the chucket, and then I kind of turn myself in the general direction where I tossed the hidden ball and I'm here to find it and you'll see the difference in what she does. All right, ZB, you ready? Set, get it! So she takes off with purpose. I'm tossing the find it ball over there. Good girl, babe, right here. Good job. Thanks, love. All right, ZB, go find it. Find it. And you see, she immediately starts searching and hunting in the general direction. I put, yay for you! Good girl! Nicely done! So I'm going to throw her chuck it ball again. Get it! She takes off with direction and purpose. I'm going to quietly toss off to the side. Good girl, bring it here! Thanks, love! Good girl! Zizi, come! Nicely done, kid! Zozo, come! Good girl! All right. Zizi, come here! Good girl! Good job! Around! CB, find it. Find it. Hunt it up. Find it. Good girl. Nicely done. I love it. Perfect. Good girl. 